Good morning everyone, this is Jeannie and welcome to my channel. I am continuing on with the other YouTube community, Beat the Mature Women, uh, to talk about my story in regarding to the fact of aging in a mature way and my take on it and my past. Uh, I saw Cindy, Palm Springs Cindy, uh, do a video on her aging process and her thoughts behind it and um, why she does what she does. And then Rockstar Mom asked if anybody would be interested to also uh, talk about their story. Uh, she did her story and it was really interesting. Both of them were very good. Kay Carter did her story this morning and I watched her video and it was really good. It's really interesting <clears throat> to, to hear how other people in our own age group have determined how they are going to age in a mature way, what their thoughts are with plastic surgery, all of that. I love makeup, I love hair, I love um, putting makeup on, I have always loved pant leather shoes that make noise. At three, four years old, little did I know that these little clickety pant leather shiny shoes would lead to high heels <laughs> on pavement making noise while I walked. I don't know why I love that. Little did I know that when my mother or father said, do you want to go to the store with us? And just for groceries, I was probably eight, nine years old. I would say, wait until I put on my clear nail polish. And so I'd run into the bathroom, put on my polish, and they would be frustrated with me thinking, what is she doing? Well, when I was growing up, I was also very sick all the time. I was sickly, skinny, ugly, you know, just, just a mess. My father always told me I was the ugliest person he ever met. And he was just kind of joking. Um, but I was. I had rashes. I died a couple of times. I lived in the hospital. I was back and forth at the doctor's office, taking medicine, drugs, just to keep me alive, all bronchial, asthma-related type illnesses. And I was constantly hovered over by people, hovered and watched, and if I sneezed, they would come running well, I can understand that. If you have a little child and you're sick all the time, you worry if you love them. <laughs> um, so when I grew up, I had a total fascination in my teens with hair and makeup. And <clears throat> I met my husband, we got married, and the first thing I noticed was when I sneezed, he did not come rushing with all this worry. He didn't hover. He pretty much just said, so you sneezed. <laughs> Big deal. Get over it. <laughs> I sneeze or get a cold and I'd say, don't you care? So psychologically, I, I have come a long ways in becoming independent, in becoming strong, in learning how to think for myself, how to do my own research, and to conquer health problems. And I did. I feel like I did. I'm not saying it was bad to be hovered over and worried about and loved so completely, no. That's not what I'm saying at all. That showed me I was loved immensely, totally, 
taken care of and uh, by my parents. But I didn't want to stay in that state. I still loved makeup, still loved beauty, still loved hair, getting my hair done, putting on makeup crazy blue eyeshadow makeup in the 70s. But I also felt like it was more important to be healthy, to take your supplements, studying each symptom that I had, getting off the medication that I was on, getting off of all the allergy shots that I was given, and learning how to eat naturally, eat salads, eat vegetables, eat fruits, drink lots of water, figuring out because I'm not breathing correctly, why? Don't just load me up on drugs. And I started doing this when I got married and moved to California. They have several <clears throat> growing seasons out there for fresh fruit and vegetables. And I ate at times nothing but salads and fruit. And no fast foods. And I couldn't believe how healthy I became. And how much better I felt. And I feel like it's great to have natural beauty. It's good, but I've never felt like I had that. I always put health before beauty, even though I kept wearing makeup and doing my hair and all of that, I just felt like you need to become healthy, strong, and very independent and think for yourself don't have someone think for you. To me, this is inner beauty. I think thinking for yourself is inner beauty and being kind to people, having a soft look in your eye, understanding people, trying to walk in their shoes and understand what is going on. What can I do to help? To me, that's beauty. It plays a far, it, it plays a better role, in my opinion, than outward beauty. And I know everybody says that. But I feel like if I had my health, I could conquer anything. I could overcome anything. If I felt good, if I was strong, if I could think for myself, if I could make my own decisions, if I could just not regret the decisions I made in the past. It's hard to do sometimes. To me, that strength is beauty. That strength, you can see it in someone's eyes. You can see it and hear it in their voices. I just think that's what beauty is. And I see a lot of that in the YouTube mature woman community. I see a lot of that wisdom. We can have fun. We can use our makeup. We can do our hair. But as far as cosmetic surgery, I probably would never do this simply because of all of my remembrances in the hospitals, recovering, doctors, visits, I probably would never have anything done. Um, I do have something on my lip here that needs to be checked out by my dermatologist, and I'm going to do that, and they'll probably, you know, if they have to do surgery and cut it out, I'll probably have to get some kind of cosmetic surgery will be covered by insurance <laughs> because it's medically necessary. Um, I did have the opportunity to have my eyes done when I had cancer in my eyelid, but the way she 
cut out my eyelid. She, she stitched it back together so beautifully it healed on its own, so I didn't need that cosmetic surgery for an eye lift. And I, I, I would have done that because I was already there at the hospital, already you know, loaded up with the IV. They were going to do it, but they didn't need to, thank goodness. So, I mean, everybody has a story. My story is to be strong and healthy, know who you are, speak up for yourself. And I probably won't have voluntary surgery. <laughs> I don't care. I like my wrinkles <laughs> because my wrinkles tell a story. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.